I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring how to find intercepts of quadratic functions. The question here is find x and y intercept for y equals to minus 4 times x minus 1 whole square plus 100. Now to find x intercept y is 0. So let's begin by finding x intercept. So when we say x intercept we mean y equals to 0. If I substitute y equals to 0 I get 0 equals to minus 4 times x minus 1 whole square plus 100. Now we need to solve for x. So I'll take 100 to the other side. So we get minus 100 equals to minus 4 times x minus 1 whole square. We cannot divide by minus 4. So we get minus 100 divided by minus 4 equals to x minus 1 whole square. And that gives us plus 25, correct? Now we can square root. So we get x minus 1 on the right side and square root of 25. Whenever you square root, you have to take both plus and minus sign. And that gives you plus and minus 5 equals to x minus 1, right? Let me bring it to the right side and show you the solution now. So what we have here is x minus 1 equals to plus and minus 5. Now, minus 5 squared is also 25, plus 5 squared is also 25. That is the reason why we do plus and minus. Now, we can solve for x, and we indeed have two solutions. One solution could be, let me write like this. If I use plus 5, my solution is actually 1 I take on this side, so 1 plus 5, or I have solution as 1 minus 5. So, we get two solutions. First one is x equals to 6, then we have minus 4, right? That means that there are two x-intercepts for this particular function. One is at 6, the other one is at minus 4. Okay, so that is how you find x-intercepts. Let me write down the answer that x-intercept at x equals to minus 4 and 6. Now we'll find the y-intercept y intercept really mean that x is equal to 0, right? So we'll substitute x equals to 0 in the equation. We have y equals to minus 4. x is 0, so 0 minus 1 whole square plus 100. So that gives us minus 4 times minus 1 square is 1 plus 100. That means minus 4 plus 100 and that is 96. So, so answer for y intercept is y equals to 96, correct? So that is how you could actually find x and y intercepts for this particular question. Now, for you, what you can do now here is sketch the function. Sketch graph of the given function. And that is the first question for you. And second question is, you see how we have found x and y intercepts, right? I would like you to Use this equation and find x intercept in a different way. So I'll say uh, find x intercept using, I'm telling you the method using difference of squares. Factoring technique. Okay, so you can also find x-intercept using difference of squares factoring technique. If you look at this example here, 0 equals to, I can write this as 100 minus 2 times x minus 1 whole square. So that is difference of squares which you could actually use to find x-intercept very easily, right? So, so let me write that equation in a form which I am saying. You could write this as 100 minus 4 times x minus 1 whole square. It is a perfect uh, difference of squares. 10 squared is 100 and 2 times x minus 1 whole square is the other term. So that would help you to, to actually write uh, or find the solution for x intercepts in alternate way. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.